and technology work hand in hand to produce good and sometimes not so good results. Today we're taking a look at how technology is helping scientists learn more about the brain, and we're also going to take a look at a scary new laser. So put your safety goggles on, this is Connected Life. Well, computers can't read our minds yet, but researchers can already predict the mental patterns that occur when particular pictures are viewed. They're reliably able to tell what someone just saw by looking at brain activity. So data mining is the process of reading collected data and making predictions based on it. And we've had data mining from the physical world for years in things like highway traffic cameras, alarm systems, manufacturing plant sensors. We call it reality mining when it includes personal data like internet searches, or cell phone records. The difference between MIT researchers analyzing cell phone data and companies like Microsoft, Google collecting online information is that the MIT researchers got the participants' permission. Whether it's our online searches or our cell phone records, data mining from social networking sites like MySpace, Facebook, or opt-in mobile presence trackers like Google's Dodgeball, the underlying concern is privacy. Should companies be allowed to collect and sell the information about you without your permission? Even if the programs are opt-in, if people don't realize what their information is really being used for, then how can they make an informed decision? On May 14, 1944, science fiction visionary and the creator of Star Wars, George Walton Lucas Jr. was born. Lucas would go on to become an original founder of Industrial Light and Magic. Pixar, and THX sound standards. Tragically, nerds around the world will likely remember him for destroying their beloved Star Wars franchise with the introduction of the character Jar Jar Binks. It's a participatory news organization. Uh, it's the largest in the world. We have people globally who are sending us accounts of uh, things that are happening in their neighborhoods and their cities and their countries. And what we do is we organize it based on what we think is good, but more importantly what our community thinks is good. And we feature that on our website, which is now public.com, and then we distribute it to our partners, which are in many cases news organizations, um, for them to use so they can, they can tap into the kind of citizen sphere of news as it's, as it's collected. You can now send stuff from your mobile phone, video or photographs. You can, you can phone in a voice message and it'll get uh, transcribed and published on the site. Uh, you can upload photographs uh, from your computer, videos from your computer, sound files from your, your computer. You, you get coverage that you just couldn't get. It's different coverage, right? And it doesn't go through the same sort of baking process that it would at Reuters, but it's, it's in many cases a more raw, kind of unpackaged account of what's happening and it can be really compelling content, really interesting material. You know, recently there was an explosion in San Diego and we had someone who was on the scene, took a photograph, uploaded it before any of the major news organizations even knew about it. So if news happens, someone's going to be there and they're going to send it to the network uh, before CNN even leaves the, the helicopter, even leaves the, the launch pad. As your brain ages, it slowly loses the ability to generate new neurons, which slows its ability to learn new things and retain memories. Now, a group of neuroscientists in Florida may have discovered a strange cure for what amounts to brain decay. They're using baby blood, or more specifically, blood from a baby's umbilical cord. Researchers injected umbilical blood into aging rats, and it helped foster neurogenesis, the growing of new neurons. It also appears to help slow down other negative effects caused by brain aging. Essentially, the effects of aging were rolled back, and there may be potential to help aging humans regain the plasticity of their youthful minds. Although controversial, this will surely have profound implications towards aging and the human mind. Block the noise, not the music, with Sony's slimmest Walkman video MP3 player yet. With the tranquility of noise-canceling headphones, you can listen while jogging, working out, or simply unwinding at your favorite yoga studio. Included with this 4GB Walkman video MP3 player, these high-quality XNC headphones use the integrated active noise-canceling system to reduce outside noise and deliver dynamic range playback. The attractive slimline Sony Walkman video MP3 
free player with FM Tuner supports multiple file types and lets you control it all on a high resolution 2.0 inch QVGA LCD. By incorporating the new SenseMe channels technology, it creates automatic playlists based on the song's characteristics. Select a channel for upbeat or relaxing. This Walkman picks the right song for the mood. Small enough to slip into your pocket, the 4 gigabyte built-in memory can store up to 2450 songs, more than 14 hours of video or hundreds of photographs, offering the joy of multimedia entertainment wherever you go. Sony's long battery life and clear sound technologies will ensure you get to enjoy your music even in the noisiest environments and the longest trips. To learn more, check out SonyStyle.ca. Whether it's your medical records or your cell phone data, there's a lot of data mining going on out there. And it's important for us to pay attention to the ethics surrounding data privacy issues. That's our show. Thanks for watching. Until next time, keep clicking and stay connected.